we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Time out. Now that you're in the name of God, who are you to stand before God and say or do or get anything? Well, you're a sinner. This is why the next part of the service is really, truly honest about that. You, as a sinner, need to fess up to God who you are and what you've done. And so you say out loud what God already knows. That's what the word confess means. It means to say the same thing as. And so now you're saying what God knows about your sin and your sinfulness. You are indeed a poor, miserable sinner. Just like that distinguished-looking gentleman who's about to start talking, you are a sinner in need of God's grace. And so you confess your sins and you say, my only hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And then the pastor's going to do something shocking. He is going to say, as a called and ordained servant of Christ, I forgive you all your sins. You should sit back and say, wait a minute, who does this guy think that he is? How can he forgive my sins? Does he think he's God? Rest assured, he doesn't think that he's God. But he does think and know that our Lord Jesus in John chapter 20 commissioned his disciples and his pastors and the church to speak the truth of this forgiveness for you. And so anyone whose sins are forgiven, their sins really are forgiven in heaven and on earth because Jesus said so. This isn't because your pastor is an arrogant jerk. This is all about Jesus being a sin-forgiving, gracious Lord of all creation, and he does it for you. That is why your pastor is the one who speaks God's forgiveness. So rest assured in that 